Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the granite beanie, which you can see here in front of you. I also have my sample one here with me. This is a beautifully textured beanie uh, featuring a spiked sedge stitch, so it's fairly thick, solid fabric. I've worked my hat with a double thick brim, so one that you're going to fold up. Uh, I'll give you some direction later on in the video should you wish to change it. This hat works great with a pom-pom or without and uh, it's fairly easy to work once you get the hang of the main stitch in the body. Today for the pattern you're going to need uh, about 350 to 400 yards of a worsted weight yarn if you're going to work the beanie with the double thick brim. I will be using the Two of Wands Color Theory yarn. Uh, again, you'll need about one and a half balls of it. It has 246 yards in it. And um, it's just a 100% acrylic worsted weight yarn. This is the color Thunder. Later on in the video, I'll be using the color Cannon to work my demonstration. You're also going to need a 4.5 or a G7 crochet hook. Links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description is a direct link to the free written pattern on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. There's also several other pictures there if you want to take a look more at this beanie. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, take a look around. There's lots of other crochet hat patterns. Also, don't forget to subscribe because this channel is updated every week with new crochet patterns and crochet stitch tutorials. As I mentioned earlier, this hat is worked from the brim up to the top and uh, the brim of the hat is worked in rows while the body of the hat is worked in rounds. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. And a couple of things about the brim, you can work it as a double thick brim as I have here. So what you're going to do if you'd like to work the double thick brim, so one that you fold over, you're going to start by chaining 26. If you do not wish to have a brim that you fold over, I recommend chaining about 13. Uh, and then that way you'll just have a shorter brim. So go ahead, chain 26 if you'd like the folded over brim. And 26. Next for row one you're going to start by working a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook. Now another note if you prefer not to work a slip stitch brim so slip stitches the whole way through you may substitute your slip stitches for either a single crochet or a half double crochet it's up to you. So you're going to slip stitch in the second chain from your hook and then in each stitch all the way across. I'm working in the back bumps of my stitches. It's really just personal preference. So you're going to work a slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. Once you come all the way across, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to continue working slip stitches or single crochet or half double crochet if you've chosen to work a different stitch. And this time we're going to work it in the back loop only. So I'll just take my hook out here. If you look at the top of your stitch, you have a loop that's closest to you. You have one that's in back. This one that is in back is your back loop only. So you're going to, your chain one does not count as a stitch, slip stitch working in that back loop only of the first stitch and each stitch across. When you come to the end of this row, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and repeat. So we will be working slip stitches in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across, chain one and turn. And you're going to do that until the brim of your hat 
measures approximately 16 to 17 inches when the fabric is relaxed. The slip stitch brim is quite stretchy. It does keep its shape very well. So you'll want to work it to about 16 to 17 inches or uh, shorter or longer if you're going to change the size of your beanie. And, uh, and then meet me back here. Okay, so once you have worked your slip stitches in the back loop only, and you've worked about 16 to 17 inches, this is what your fabric is going to look like. You can see it's quite stretchy, but uh, it comes back in and keeps its shape quite well. I just love a slip stitch brim. What we're going to do that now is take our brim and fold it over so that the two short ends meet. And we're going to work a seam along this long side so there was no need to fasten off you're going to chain one and do so or crochet these two ends together you're going to work a slip stitch in the back loop only of the first piece reach across over to the back loop only of the next piece and slip stitch you're going to make sure that as you are working you're not skipping any stitches you're not working twice in any stitches you're just going to go along your two short edges working sl a slip stitch in the back loop only through both thicknesses all the way across to the other side. Once you have slip stitched all the way across, you'll have a little bit of a seam right here. If you've worked the double thick brim, the one that you're folding over, you're going to leave it with the wrong side facing as I'm doing here. So my seam is on the outside. If you've done a short brim, uh, so one with about 13 chains and slip stitches, you're going to turn it so that it's right side out before you work this next round. For round one of the hat body, we're now going to be working around this rough edge, so the long edge of our hat brim. You're going to start by chaining one, and you're then going to work 84 half double crochet stitches evenly all the way around. If you wish, you can place a stitch marker about halfway around and uh, work half your stitches on one side, half your stitches on the other. It's up to you, but you want to work about 84 half double crochet stitches around. If you would like to change the size of your beanie, this first round of half double crochet stitches will need to be a multiple of three stitches. So continue working half double crochet stitches all the way around. There's no pretty places to put your hook. I'm just inserting it down a little bit into the brim. So continue all the way around. Once you have worked 84 half double crochet stitches all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Do not turn your work. For round two, we're going to chain one and into the same stitch as joining you're going to work a single crochet, half double crochet, and a double crochet all into the same stitch. Skip the next two stitches and into your next stitch work a single crochet, half double crochet and a double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Skip the next two stitches into your next stitch, work a single crochet, half double crochet and double crochet all the way around. At the end of round two, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first single crochet. 
chain one and turn and you will be turning each round from here on out. Now what you're going to do for round three is we've chained one. You're then going to work a single crochet uh, and your half double crochet into the same single crochet that you joined in. So it's going to feel like you're going backward a little bit here, but you're going to single crochet into that same stitch as joining and then double crochet into that same single crochet or half double crochet. You're then going to work a double crochet stitch, but you're going to work it into the space under the single crochet of the row below. So into the space two rows below where you worked your single crochet half double and double. So yarn over, bring your hook down into that space under the single crochet, yarn over, draw up a loop to the height of your double crochet, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You're then going to skip the next two sing stitches and into the next single crochet, work your single crochet and half double crochet. Now into the space down below that single crochet, so into the same stitch where you worked your single crochet, half double crochet and double crochet, you're going to insert your hook and work a double crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Skip the next two stitches into the next single crochet, work a single crochet, half double crochet, and now into the space two rounds below, work a double crochet just below your other single crochet stitch. Repeat this all the way around. When you come all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. Now for round four and all the way through to round 21, you're going to repeat your round three. So once again, back in this single crochet stitch, the same stitch is joining, work a single crochet and a half double crochet. You're then going to work your double crochet stitch into the uh, space below that single crochet stitch. Work a double crochet. Skip the next two stitches into the next single crochet, work a single crochet, half double crochet, and then into the space underneath that single crochet stitch, work a double crochet. So you're going to repeat this round three through to round 21, and then you're going to meet me back here. You'll then have completed the body of your hat. Uh, it will be about seven inches tall from the uh, from the where you finished off your brim here. So from the body of the hat will be about seven inches. It'll come to about 21, around 21, and then you can meet me back here and we will close the top of our hat. So at the end of round 21, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. This is what your beanie is going to look like so far and you'll have an open top here that we are now going to sew close. So you're going to fasten off leaving a long tail and I'm recommending about 20 inches. You're going to take that long tail and thread it onto your yarn needle and you're going to weave that piece of yarn in and out through the top round of stitches. As I'm weaving my thread in and out, I am inserting my needle where you would normally insert 
your crochet hook in the stitches. That way you're not going to have as much resistance when you go to pull the top of your hat closed. So working all the way around the top of your beanie, simply insert your needle in and out through that top round of stitches all the way around. I love using this way to close the top of a beanie because there's no odd decrease stitches or anything like that. You're simply going to work your texture throughout and then cinch the top of the hat closed. All the way around. careful not to skip any stitches that way you're not going to have any gaps up at the top just like so until you come to your first stitch when you come to your first stitch you're going to then simply gently pull your thread so that it pulls the top of your beanie inward and you're going to pull it as tight as you can all the way around. Once you have pulled it as tight as you can all the way around you're then going to work one final seam just up here at the top. So what you can do is secure that end and then I do like to turn my beanie inside out before I sew this final seam. There we go. So put my needle through to the inside pull it through and that way if there is a little bit of bulkiness it's going to remain on the inside of your hat. So then you're just going to sew a straight seam just across that smaller opening. You'll want to pull it fairly tight. The tighter you make it the less it will show when your beanie is finished. all the way across, making sure that you're working through both thicknesses. And pulling it fairly tight. Once you come all the way across, again, you will want to secure it. I like to work a little bit of a knot on the inside there. And then you can weave in your tail. Clip any ends, weave in any other tails that you might have out. And that is your granite beanie. So thank you so much for joining me. At this time you can either wear again as is or add a pom-pom to the top. It's really up to you, but that's it. 
So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again soon for another great crochet beanie pattern. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Thank you.